Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ohio Fisherman. I've made a new video for a while because I'm starting a new truck driving job unfortunately. I'm here in Dubuque, Iowa. That is their historic shot tower there where they used to make lead shot. Pretty interesting to make the perfect sphere they had to drop the lead shot from a high distance to get the perfect sphere. I don't know that's what it said a little bit but just some old historical stuff. I always did before I carry a travel rod in my truck I used to carry um, a five weights chest waders and stuff but good thing I brought this along I'm tired of sitting around the hotel room for so long but I have right here the Mississippi River which I have never fished before check that out interesting huh so I went to the local bait shop Picked up a few jigs, dozen crawlers, and we'll see what we can get. Looks like there's a guy there in a boat. Pretty interesting. So I'm in Iowa, right there. That's Wisconsin, and over there is Illinois. So, never fished in Mississippi before. It's cold, 41 degrees. I don't have a jacket. I am just tired of sitting around that hotel room. So let's see if we can get anything. I don't care if it's a sheep head or sucker or anything. Let's see what we can get. Some historical stuff, huh? Some old barges. Tell you what, that's one thing I've liked about truck driving over the years. I would have never been able to see all this, fish all this, experience so much if I didn't drive truck. But yeah, even the guy at the bait store said it's cold start up here this year but we'll see what happens hopefully i get some <laughs> five casts five snags it's, it's time to move <laughs> and i'm gonna burn through all my all my jigs here we got a little discharge area right here the control for it right there see if maybe something's hanging out at the discharge the guy at the bait shop told me that the water's a little high right now which i guess it would be if the stairs are underwater but Nice to get something. This cold wind kind of sucks, but my crawler is ready. Get up a little bit here and see how long till I lose this crayfish lure. Out there, there's another one of those. No, it's not a swan. It's a white pelican. I remember seeing a few of those. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit better. I remember seeing a few of those down in Florida in the one area on the Gulf, and they said that they only came there. They migrated here from somewhere in the Midwest, and I, I never believed that. I saw some the other day, but pelicans aren't just a south uh, ocean fish. They got those white ones up here in the Midwest that I guess migrate down there in the winter. Pretty neat. Pelicans on the uh, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois border, huh? 56 more snags in another place. Moving on here a little bit. This looks like a good little spot for some fish to get out of the current right here, don't it? Yeah. If I had the fish, I'd be hanging out right there by whatever that thing is. So I'll try dropping a crawler down in there and see what happens. Granted, I don't got much experience on the Mississippi, but a little jig head with half a crawler drifting uh, right off the bottom. Right in a little eddy like this, man, I, I should have got at least a bite by now. I know in the Cuyahoga, I would have got a rock bass or a sucker or something. That guy out there, I've been watching him. I don't even know if he's even fished yet. He's just trying to... Oh, you know what? I think he's snagging. I've been watching him. He keeps on trying to anchor down with the big river anchor, but he keeps on coming up and down. I watched him toss a couple things back. I don't know if they were invasive carp or what it kind of looks like he's snagging out there now now he's pulling on that river anchor it's pretty pretty interesting i'd like to see him i don't know if he's snagging spoonbills or, or asian carp or what he's doing but he's got that river anchor hooked up to a pulley i think i think that's what he's doing i don't know i'm trying to watch him and my bobber at the same time no bites on the Old crawler chunk, so let's see how the old Ohio <clears throat> Big Josh Eves does out here. That river's cooking. 
Like I was saying, the guy at the base door said the river is high. But looking over there, they got a old mine, right old mine entrance over there. Pretty cool. See how many casts I can get out of this before I lose it. Just a leisurely stroll down the Mississippi in my yacht here. I don't know if that's maybe the channel on the other side. That's where uh, they got some kind of lock there. Isn't that the railroad uh, company from uh, Monopoly there? God, it's cold. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> okay, that's not a mine entrance. Look at that. That's a train tunnel. <laughs> going right on through it. Pretty cool. Well, that's going to do it for me. I'm cold. I'm whiny. Sound like every girl's friend, but I'm cold. Nice little historic uh, and newly renovated. Nice river walk here on the Mississippi. And for some reason, I get jammed up over uh, the weekend, still waiting on this new drug test to come back. It's just ridiculous when you gotta go through the drive truck, the DOT drug test. For some reason I get jammed up over the weekend. Well, I hope I can just get through going down here. Instead of waiting on the train. Yeah, for some reason I get jammed up over the weekend. I am going to uh, buy a three-day license and I'm going to drive a couple miles upstream to the dam. Try fishing on a dam on the Mississippi. I think that would be much more productive. But hopefully... My results come back tomorrow, and uh, I can get out of here, get on the road. I'd like to be home by the weekend. Get up on Lake Erie, get some of those big old walleye. Well, no fish, but it's always nice to get out. Ohio Fisherman signing out.